Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So today we are going to discuss some calculations by using example of gentamicin and erythromycin. Okay, so these are uh, the vials, different vials of these antibiotics are commercially available in market and you can use different vials for your calculations. Okay, so by using uh, two, three examples, I'm going to discuss calculations today. So already a video is uploaded where calculations of uh, ampicillin are discussed okay so do watch that video this is second video on antibiotic calculations so you can see here these are different vials of gentamicin and erythromycin which are commercially available in market so you can see here the stock solution or the stock vial is of different volume and different concentration so the stock volume of first vial of gentamicin is of 20 ml okay then another or the other two are of 2 ml but the concentrations are different so first one is of 40 mg per ml second is of 20 mg per 2 ml and last is of 10 mg per 2 ml okay so this differs from company to company and there are different companies which manufactures these antibiotics and they have different stock solution vials available in market so whichever you uh, get for your practicals or for your experiment do note down the volume and the stock solution concentration and then use it for your calculations so for example for erythromycin uh, generally you get two types of uh, vials the first one is liquid where which is of 100 ml and it has concentration of 200 mg per ml okay and the other one is of a powdered form which is of 500 mg now you can use this powder form of erythromycin to make your stock solution okay so it depends that which vial you are using right so now how to determine volumes to use to obtain a certain concentration so for our experiments uh, many a times in microbiology we need a uh, broth which has 50 uh, micrograms per ml of concentration of antibiotic or we need a plate of agar which is suspended with antibiotic and has a particular concentration right so how to determine that how much volume we need to transfer from our stock solution to our agar or broth so for that we need to do some calculations and what the answer we get is the volume that you add from your stock solution to your agar or broth okay so now if it is agar then after autoclaving uh, you get the hot molten agar outside you add the volume which is required to be transferred and you mix it okay the antibiotic should not be added to very or too much hot agar molten agar okay it should be uh, you do the simple uh, chick test where you try to uh, know the uh, the temperature of your agar it should not get quickly solidified and it should not be too hot okay so in between that where the antibiotic will not get um, deactivated okay because most of the antibiotics are also heat labile so you also have to keep that in your mind right and if it's broth then yes broth can be cooled down and then you can add your filter sterilized antibiotic and then do your experiment so for doing this for finding out the volume that is to be added to your agar or broth you have to use a following formula to determine the amount of stock solution to use for any amount okay and make sure that your units they match now remember that you have to convert mg to mu g that is milligrams to micrograms and you can do that just by multiplying your value by thousand okay so the formula which we use is c1 v1 is equal to c2 v2 where c stands for concentration and v stands for volume right so now let's start with the erythromycin calculations okay so we are looking into calculations for antibiotics right so before starting with the calculations for gentamicin and erythromycin just a revision that 1 ml is equal to 1000 mu l that is microliters 
पॉइंट वन एम एल इज हंड्रेड माइक्रोलीटर्स एंड पॉइंट नॉट वन एम एल इज टेन माइक्रोलीटर्स ओके सो यू नीड दीज कन्वर्शन इन कैलकुलेशन सो प्लीज डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज हियर राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट एरेथ्रोमाइसिन सो वी विल अज्यूम दैट वी हैव स्टॉक वायल ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एम जी पर एम एल ओके दिस इज द स्टॉक वी हैव एंड यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर अ ब्रॉथ ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ एल बी दैट इज लूरिया बर्टिनी ब्रॉथ विथ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ हंड्रेड माइक्रोग्राम्स पर एम एल ओके सो वी हैव थ्री वैल्यूज हियर एंड यूजिंग दोज वी विल डू दी कैलकुलेशन सो फर्स्ट इज सी वन दैट इज वॉट वी हैव इज टू हंड्रेड एम जी ऑफ अवर स्टॉक ऑफ एरिथ्रोमाइसिन ओके सो वी हैव द फर्स्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सेकेंड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज वॉट वी रिक्वायर ओके सो वी रिक्वायर ब्रॉथ ऑफ हंड्रेड माइक्रोग्राम्स सो दैट इज अवर सी टू वी वन इज द वॉल्यूम विच वी रिक्वायर्ड टू ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम दी स्टॉक टू दी ब्रॉथ ओके टू गेट दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो दैट विल बी एक्स that is what we are going to find out and v2 is volume of broth okay total volume of broth which you are making that is 200 ml so we will put this values uh, in this formula that is c1 into v1 is equal to c2 into v2 right so 200 mg into v1 is x right v1 is x so we will write x here then c2 is what we have 100 micrograms into volume of broth that we are preparing is 200 ml so we'll do the calculations like 200 micrograms will go this side in division and we will get these values so now these two values are in milligrams and Uh, mg that is ml and mg okay milligram and milliliter so we need to convert 100 micrograms into milligrams so that will be 0.1 into 200 upon 200 so these will get cancelled out everything and what is remained is 0.1 ml not microgram okay this is milliliters okay don't get confused here we have converted this part and these two uh, values they got cancel out so what is remaining here is 0.1 ml so that is what you got the answer now convert 0.1 ml into micro uh, liters okay so 0.1 ml is nothing but 100 micro liters so you will transfer 100 microliters from stock of erythromycin to 200 ml of lb okay to get so this is about gentamicin calculation now so we will start with two examples here okay one is for vial which has 40 mg per ml of stock and another one which has the stock of 20 mg per ml okay so now we will start the calculations of gentamicin so suppose we have a stock vial of 40 mg per ml concentration and you need to make 100 ml of nutrient broth that has 100 micrograms per ml of concentration of gentamicin in it okay so we have three values here and we will use those for solving and uh, to get the final concentration of 100 microgram per ml of the broth okay final concentration of that so c1 here is 40 mg that is the gentamicin stock solution that we have okay then c2 is the concentration that we require okay for the final concentration for nb that we require is 
microgram per ml then v1 is we need to add the nb add to the nb that is the um, volume that we will add from stock to nutrient broth that is x okay to get the final concentration and v2 is the volume of broth so volume of broth here is 100 ml right 100 ml of nb so that is 100 ml so now we will use these values and we will solve so c1 v, uh, c1 v1 is equal to c2 v2 is the formula that we are using here so we will put the values so 40 mg into x is equal to 100 micrograms the concentration we require and the volume of uh, broth that we are making is 100 ml now we need to convert mu g to mg that is uh, uh, we need to convert micrograms to milligrams so that we will get all the values in one unit okay so 40 mg into x is equal to 0.1 microgram into 100 milliliters so x is equal to 0.1 into 100 upon 40 do the calculations right uh, 2 to the 4 to 5 is at 10 and we get 0 0.5 upon 2 which is nothing but 0.25 ml so now again convert ml to microliters and that is nothing but 250 microliters so you will transfer 250 microliters of stock to your nb okay so this was about gentamicin stock of 40 mg per ml now suppose you have another stock vial okay uh, there are different um, uh, stock vials available in market okay so they have different concentrations so this one suppose you have a vial of 20 mg per ml and you need to make 100 ml of nb that has now the concentration of 50 micrograms okay per ml okay so here the c2 value has changed c1 value has changed and the volume of broth is same that is 100 ml so we will put values here so that is 20 into x is equal to 50 micrograms into 100 and we will do the calculations now so this was in mg so now we will convert mu g to mg okay we do the calculations here by conversion that is now 0 0.05 into 100 upon 20 okay 2 pi is a 10 and this becomes again 0 0.25 of your concentration of stock that we required okay so 0 0.25 ml is nothing but again 250 micrograms sorry microliters so you will transfer 250 microliters to broth okay to get the concentration of 50 microgram per ml okay so this was about gentamicin and i hope now you are clear with your calculations here now one more thing is we never add antibiotics before autoclaving okay you autoclave your broth separately okay you make a stock solution you uh, filter sterilize it and then transfer that to your broth after autoclaving okay so this is a very important point so now i think you are clear with the antibiotic calculations i have used two different examples here so thank you for watching my videos do like my videos and share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and keep supporting thank you